everybody, it's Liza. Uh, it is July the 23rd, and it's Talk To Me Tuesday. Um, I have had a very interesting, to say the least, week. Um, everything from being caught up in royal baby drama to um, getting a migraine and totally sleeping for like 48 hours um, and losing all of that time. I didn't get a lot of stuff done that I wanted to on Sunday in particular. I just slept. Um, so it's been a rather interesting week for me. Um, I did get some crafting done. I'm doing a lot more non-traditional Talk To Me Tuesday things that I've shown. More traditional art. Um, simply because I needed a change of pace. Um, I haven't worked on my mother's stole. I haven't done a lot of sewing. Um, just because I'm kind of creatively stumped with that stuff. So I needed to kind of break it up and do something different for a little while. And so I decided to go into another aspect of my crafting life, which is in particular painting and traditional artwork. Um, I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy doing it. It's something that is just a creative outlet for me. It's not something that I do for profit, for gifts, anything like that. I do it just for me. A um, couple people have tried to convince me to otherwise, but I don't know if I'll ever do that. Um, so to kind of get my creative juices flowing at the beginning of the week, I have what's called an art journal. And basically in my art journal, I it's like a traditional journal, only instead of using words, you create art in it. Um, so I decided I would go ahead and create an art journal page to just kind of get my creative juices flowing. And this is that art journal page, and I'll come a little bit close to the camera to show you. So this is the art journal page that I created. Um, art journaling is just something I do to kind of get creative and to kind of start my imagination going a little bit to decide what I want to do and how I want to do it. Um, on the page you can see I used stamping, I used paper, I used um, paint. It's just kind of a creation, it's mixed media, art, basically. Basically the art journal is just a way for me to kind of get all of my crafting stuff out and decide what I am want to use. Normally what I use a lot of in the art journal is what I end up using a lot of in the crafting. So I used a lot of paint there in my art journal and kind of discovered that I haven't done painting for a little while, so I thought I'd go ahead and paint. Um, I'm going to show you one of my pieces in progress. Remember that this is in progress. It's not completed or anything yet. I just have the outline on it. Um, but this is the piece that I'm working on right now. It's going to be a very pretty sunflower, I think, when I'm done with it. Uh, but you can see I kind of sketch in the basic outline of what it's going to be and then start painting from there. So I have my background done, now I need to do my focal point, which is the flower. Um, I've got it off center and everything, so I'll add more to that as time goes on, um, but this spent, this took up a lot of Thursday and Friday, um, just kind of getting the sketch out that I wanted and then getting the background done. Um, the sketch went through about 27 different <laughs> ideas before I actually decided on how it was going to be laid out and everything. It was based off of a picture that I took um, of a sun, actually of a daisy, it wasn't a sunflower. And it's probably, it's not going to be a daisy, I'm going to use some deeper colors than the yellow daisy that I uh, originally took the picture of, but I liked the layout I had of the picture. And so I wanted to kind of copy that layout in the painting of the flower being kind of off-center and not the whole flower. 
all of that. So I'm working on that right now. Um, hopefully I will get back to my mother's stole and get that working worked on a little bit more. Um, but this week I also did a lot of crocheting. Um, I don't quite know why because it is hotter than blazes. Um, so I don't know why I decided I wanted to have, you know, a crochet afghan on my lap, but I did. Um, I've had this yarn since Christmas of last year. It is sparkly and it is really cute and it's all cotton yarn. Um, and I really like it, but I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So basically what I've done is I've taken basically a shell pattern um, that I normally use on a lot of baby blankets because it's very closely uh, weaved together. Uh, so little fingers and toes don't normally go through it as easily as some of the other patterns that I've used. Um, and I'm kind of just winging it from there. I don't have a set pattern that I'm going to do. I'm just kind of putting some blocks of white in there to break it up a little bit. And we'll see how that turns out because this is the last skein of red that I have. So when this skein is out, it's going to have to be white. So we'll see how far I get and how it ends up looking and all of that once I get a little bit further on it. I'm in no hurry to finish this simply because it's like 97 degrees outside. It's hot, um, and so I really don't want a blanket on my lap all the time, so I'm not in a huge hurry to finish that. It's nothing. It's not for anybody special. I don't know what I'm going to do with it when I finish it. It's probably going to go in my stash of blankets that I just keep around. Um, speaking of blankets, afghans are normally what I give new babies uh, when friends of mine have babies. So I normally have a stash of about three or four of them hanging around my apartment um, for when somebody says they're having a baby. Um, I mailed two Afghans, two baby Afghans off to two of my friends, one who has had her baby, one who is due very, very soon. Um, and I mailed Afghans off to them, which takes care of two of my currently seven I actually count that there are seven people right now I know who are having children. Um, one of my friends I did have an afghan for that I was going to send off to her, but she actually asked that um, I not give her a gift. She doesn't want gifts. She has more than enough stuff, as is right now, um, and she didn't want to accumulate more stuff. So she actually asked me, rather than giving her a gift, if I would donate the gift that I would have given her to an organization for a child who needs it. Um, so I now have that afghan in my donate pile. And I now have like one afghan in my stash and quite a few more babies that I need gifts for. So I have an old pattern for like a baby sling that uh, you sew together. Um, it's a real quick one yard, pro one yard of fabric project. Uh, it takes me about a day to do. So I'm thinking I might do those for the other people, just because they're different gifts. And I know for one of my friends, uh, because she here is here in town, she's already asked me to baby showers and such. Because she's in town, I'm a little bit closer with her at this point in time, um, that I'm going to actually make her a quilt. But I have to wait a little while till she decides on a name for the baby, because it is going to be personalized. Um, so I have to wait for the name to come out before I can finish the quilt, before I can give her the quilt. So hers is going to be a little bit of a process and I have a little bit of time with hers because she's not as far along in her pregnancy, thank goodness. Um, so I don't have to worry about her gift quite so much right now, I have a little bit of time for hers. Um, and I had another friend who announced that they're having their third child today and their third child is due in December, so that makes Number seven, um, yeah, lots of babies. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's uh, my year of babies. Um, and I have told my friends that I love them all dearly, and I'm more than happy to give them these gifts, but when I get married and have children, they better, I accept, I, I want some really good gifts in return. So... <laughs> Hopefully they will give me really good gifts in return one day. Um, so that's been my week, basically. I hope everybody else has had a really crafty week. Um, 
I love watching the videos. I'm so glad everybody's making videos a little bit more regularly now. So I love watching the videos. Uh, keep it up, guys. And I will see you next week. Bye!